Douglas Musinguzi, a resident of Chobe village in Bueramule sub-county, woke up to the sound of people from Kayanja village running for their lives. They were fleeing to the neighboring areas of Rebisengo and Karugutu. We heard that rebels had arrived in Uganda and they had arrested two youths in Kayanja village. The gunfire in Kayanja and Chobe went on for more than three hours. I was at home at 8 p.m., then I had blades being fired. When I asked, I was told that there were rebels based in the Congo who had arrived in Kayanja village. According to the UPDF deputy spokesperson, Colonel Deo Akiki, the rebels were detected at around 9 p.m. on Monday. Akiki said the UPDF's 8th Battalion intercepted the group and shot at them. Yesterday night we got wind of uh, some ADF elements uh, crossing around the areas of Kayanja, which is the boundary between the Interoka and Bundubujo from the other side, and crossing uh, River Semulik. The number which cro uh, crossed from Congo was between 20 and 30, and uh, some of them actually drowned during their counter at uh, River Semulik. Fifteen rebels were killed and eight captured. And eight of them, we have them alive, including a lady. Those ones will help us to tell us uh, their motive and also give us more clues on any possible deployments of ADF inside or any plans in the Congo. We have uh, got ten uh, rifles from them, AK-47, from one big gun called the PK, a purpose machine gun. Also, one soldier and two civilians died during the fight. A UPDF soldier uh, whose details we shall reveal later after informing the next of kin. Over 400 people have been displaced and are camping at the veterinary offices in Rebisengo Town Council and more than 200 are sheltered at Karugutu Primary School. It is going to provide shelter. However, when you look at the, our people, the way they, the way they wear is the way they came. None of them has beddings, so they are just here, they are lacking beddings. Of course, a big number of, of these people are children. People, of course, were terrified. This is the first time I think the war came closer to them. The UADF used to infiltrate and go and start fighting in other areas. But today, the encounter is in Butuk itself. The UPDF launched Operation Shuja against the ADF rebels situated in eastern DRC in November.